Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Rishabh and you're watching Movizium. Today in this video, let us talk about what exactly megapixels are and what do we even need them for. So whenever we talk about camera specifications, megapixels are a major deciding factor. For a lot of people, a general rule of thumb is that more megapixels means better camera quality. But what if I told you that it is not entirely true? Well, mega means a million. So a megapixels would mean a million pixels. Now this photo from my Xiaomi Redmi 4 has a resolution of 4160 by 3120 pixels. Now the total number of pixels in this image would be 4160 multiplied by 3120. That would give us this number, which is approximately close to 13 million. So we can conclude that this image has a resolution of 4160 by 3120 pixels and the total number of pixels in this image are 13 million. Now let me tell you that my Redmi 4X has a 13 megapixel rear camera. So this means that this device can capture 13 million pixels. We previously saw that the photo that was captured by this device had approximately 13 million pixels as well. You see, the number of pixels in my image is the total number of pixels that my camera can capture. So I guess we have established the fact that if a camera has more megapixels, it can capture more pixels and thereby create a high resolution image. But does having a high resolution image means having a better camera quality? No. So the point of having a high resolution image is that you will be able to view that image on bigger screens without having to zoom. That's all megapixels can help you with. So let's say you have a laptop whose resolution is 1280 by 720 pixels and you want to click a beautiful wallpaper for it. So you would want a total of 1280 multiplied by 720 pixels which is approximately equal to 1 million pixels. Well, you know what? You could get that by just a 1 megapixel camera because hey, you wanted a million pixels, right? A 1 megapixel camera can give you a million pixels. Now you must be wondering, what about the image quality? How do I get better image quality? And the answer is very simple, the image sensor. Now I won't get into the image sensor part because it's a little boring and anyways, we're here to discuss megapixels. So just to give you a rough idea, the bigger the image sensor, the better the pixel definitions are. Image sensors capture light, so a bigger sensor would capture more light. Now if there were more megapixels in your camera, your sensor would have to distribute the incoming light into those many pixels, thereby reducing pixel definition. Sure, more megapixels would give you a high resolution image and give you a lot of pixels, but those pixels would be of low quality. So what we can conclude from this is that more megapixels have nothing to do with the quality of the image. Hmm, so does that mean megapixels are useless? No. Not at all. Having more megapixels would mean that you would be able to zoom more into your images. Also, you could display your image on a bigger screen without having to zoom into it. We have discussed a lot of theory. Now let us take a very practical example. If there are two phones with the exact same specifications, but this one has a 13 megapixel camera and this one has a 5 megapixel camera, which one do you think would produce better images? Okay, take your time, pause the video right now and think about it. Which one would produce better images? Well, to be very honest, you may not be able to find out any difference in both the images, but theoretically, and in some cases, the images produced by the 5 megapixel camera will be better than the one produced with the 13 megapixel camera. Sure, the 5 megapixel camera will not be able to produce a high resolution image, but think about it. Do you really need a high resolution image? I mean, what do we even do with our images? We usually share them on social media sites, send it to our friends, or store them in our digital albums. So whenever we view our images, we are either seeing them on laptops, desktops, mobile phones or sometimes televisions. Now these devices have a resolution of either HD, Full HD and some of you might have televisions that have 2K or 4K resolutions. Now let me tell you that you could click a 2K or 4K picture with just a 5 and 8 megapixel cameras. So why do you need a 20 or 25 megapixel camera? Unless you're planning to print the images clicked by your phone on the big holdings you see on the road, you actually don't need a very high megapixel camera. Lastly, now you must be thinking that if megapixels are not so important, why are all these smartphone companies competing for it? See, I already told you that the images clicked by a 13 and a 5 megapixel camera would almost be similar, but the only good thing about the 13 megapixel one would be that it would have a higher resolution image. So companies are of the idea that if it does not hurt the image quality, then let's give more megapixels. Now this happens because the sensors used today have the range that they can distribute the incoming light into those many pixels. But this was not the case earlier. All these companies that were giving more megapixels did not have that sensor and they were just cramming more pixels onto the same sensor. Let us take the example of Apple. Apple just gave an 8 megapixel camera till the iPhone 6 and we all know that 8 megapixel camera could capture way better photos than many other 13 and 16 megapixel cameras at that time. So maybe it's time to stop running behind megapixels and start looking into more important things like the image sensor and the lenses. But that is for another day. Also, if you'd like to watch more such videos where we discuss such technological concepts, do let us know. So that was all I had for this video. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any queries or suggestions about this video, drop it in the comment section and I'll be there for you.